Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment below if you're so motivated to do so. This is Wonders of a Black Woman. Well, the New York Post had an article um, talking about how Suge Knight warned P. Diddy that his life was in danger during his, what is it called? <sighs> Collect Call. The show that he does from prison as he's serving his 28-year sentence for voluntary manslaughter. Um, music exec Suge Knight has warned his longtime hip-hop rival P. Diddy that his life's in danger after federal agents raided the singer's Florida and California homes. The clip obtained by TMZ was allegedly an outtake from the Death Row Records founder's podcast, Collect Call, which he hosts from a California state prison where he's serving 28 years sentence for voluntary manslaughter. Knight kicked off the clip praying for Diddy. Not for Diddy, but for his kids. <laughs> Excuse me. Knight kicked off the clip praying for Diddy's kids before he blasted the singer for giving the culture of hip-hop a bad image. <laughs> That's funny coming from you, Shug. I'll tell you what, Puffy. Your life is in danger because you know the secrets who's involved in that little secret room you guys are participated in. Well, look, he's going to be Epstein. He's going to be Epstein. Um, according to this article on Y Entertainment, P. Diddy's legal drama, a hip hop Epstein situation. Diddy has been dubbed the Jeffrey Epstein of the music industry following the raid of two of his properties by federal agents. The rapper has been accused of trafficking like Epstein was and it seems that is not where the comparison stop. It's not where the comparison stop. Um however also you have to look at the fact that um there's alleged weapons and drugs that are involved um i don't see him surviving this uh should knight called it correctly uh i i say time and time again the devil does not give out gifts these people are very immoral it's almost satanic and demonic, the stuff that they've done to people. Um, I don't know what, we've all, let's just not play games. We've all heard of the rumors that they're into these different types of rituals and worship. I mean, let's just keep it real. Um, and it's time for him to be sacrificed. That's just as simple as that. It's time for he himself to be the sacrificial uh, piece of meat slid up on the grill. Um, the devil doesn't give out gifts. You know, he uses people to uh, corrupt others. And you may think you're being rewarded, but in reality, you're just being set up like a... a a bowling pin to be knocked down by the big ball when it comes rolling down the aisle. It's just as simple as that. That's all that's going on here. I really um, am just sickened, sickened by all of this. It's just disgusting. Here it is, and it's not just him. It isn't. A lot of these people that you all are looking at on television did all kinds of things to get there that you would just be puking, dis pukingly disgusted at. 
if you knew what they were really into. And it really is uh, just, it's important that Cassie blew the whistle. A lot of people have been wanting to blow the whistle on Puffy for a long time. Uh, people have, but it hasn't been taken seriously because the people behind the scenes that's involved in this stuff wasn't ready to slide him up on the grill. Um, now they're ready to slide him up on the grill and they might slide his neck in a noose in a prison cell. Because we're not talking about new money folk like P. Diddy. Some of these people are deep into this stuff for generations of this type of just ritualistic devil worship. I mean, you know, and they have been uh, sacrificing and doing these horrible, horrific things to people for a long time. Um, you know, these people, they do not follow the regular moral code that the average person does. They are just in a totally different mindset where they think that they can do absolutely anything to a person that they want. If they want to have a game where they are hunting people in some private woods, they can do that. If they want to do something to babies, children, they, ha they do that. Like all of these unaccompanied minors coming in this country, Lord knows where those kids are really ending up. Because what parents would send their kid thousands of miles to walk into another country with a stranger? You know, I, I just... You know, the, the I guess Lucy uh, has decided that it was time to call Puffy's number. And uh, his followers decided to go on and, you know, slide him up on the grill. He's marinating now, but um, he'll be slid up on the grill soon. I, I think Puffy's days are numbered. Another development in this, which was quite bizarre, 50 Cent's wife or his child, one of his children's mother was allegedly named as... Uh, prostitute in the situation. Um, another development is I'll be sure wants his son to leave. I don't see why his son is was under Puffy's cheek anyway. I mean, you know, especially with the I don't know if he was trying to get intel or something on what happened to his mom. But I don't see why I'll be sure son was even around puppy like that anyway. Um, you know, fame and fortune is a powerful draw. And, you know, you just have to really watch yourself out here because all that glitters definitely is not gold. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment below if you're so motivated to do so. This is Wonders of a Black Woman.